Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at the sign rule. So if we take a quick overview, the sign rule is a trigonometric rule which is used to determine the length or an angle of a non-right angled triangle. You don't need to remember this formula as you will be given it in the formula sheet. However, you will probably do it so many times that you will remember it. Uh, it isn't a difficult formula and it's fairly easy to use. When you label your triangle, the side and the angle directly opposite share the same letter. Now, we'll see what that means in the example. However, this is the key fundamental part of the sign rule is the setting up and labeling of your triangle. So the formula is as follows. It's small a over sine capital A is equal to b, small b, over sine capital B is equal to small c over sine capital C. Now the lowercase letters indicate the size of the triangle and the uppercase letters denote the angles. Now we need to keep this in mind when we come to labeling our triangles because once we have the values of A, B, C then it is a case of plug it into the calculator and solve for your unknown value. So if we take a look at question one, question one asks us to calculate the length of x in the triangle. So it's got, given us this triangle here where we have the length x here with a length here of 50 centimetres, angle of 60 and an angle of 20. So the first thing that you do is you write out the whole sine equation. And now the fundamental part of this is to label it and set it up properly. Now there is one condition that when we label a side, so for example we will label side x as a, now this is lowercase a, the angle directly opposite that side is its reciprocal capital letter. So in this case 20 degrees is capital A. So by the same process if small b is 50 then the reciprocal of small b is capital B which is directly across from that side. So capital B must be 60. So we can neglect the C term and usually in your exam and any questions that you do you always tend to neglect the third term. You can equally ignore the first term and use B and C. It just depends. It is your choice but to keep things simple, I tend to use just A and B. So once we have labelled a triangle, then all you have to do is substitute in the values. And we will then rearrange and get our value of X. So if we simplify the 50 over sine 60, that will give us 57.735. Now I'm keeping it to three decimal places because we can round it later at the end. Then I'll bring the sine 20 across. Now, because it is dividing here, it's going to go over as times. And then if we pop that into the calculator, we get a value of 19.7. Now, the rest of the values in the question are all to the nearest whole number. So we'll round this up and we'll give us x equals 20 centimetres. And that's how you would go about finding the length using the sine rule. Question number two is instead of finding a length this time, we are going to find the missing angle. So it's the same process as before. We have right at the equation and then we go to label. So we'll call 8 millimeters this time small a, which means the reciprocal angle must be the 39. That means that 11 millimeters is small b with the reciprocal being x for capital B. So again, we neglect the C term and we substitute in the values and we get this arrangement here. Now, there's a few ways that you can go about simplifying this, but for me, the easiest way is to simplify this first into a decimal, which we get 12.712. 
and then bring the sine x up. So it's dividing here, it will go up as times. So we get 12.712 times sine x, and that will equal 11. Now we need to get rid of this, the 12.712. So if we put that across beside the 11 this time, it will go over as divide. Now when we get rid of the sine x, it doesn't go over as divide. It has to go over as inverse sine. So the way that you do that in a calculator is you press shift and then the sine button. And then once you pop that into the calculator, we get an x value when rounded to 60 degrees. And that's how you would go about solving that kind of question there. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video.